All anyone's talking about on Sphere is Noah's show. I've got to do my promotional part. Please don't. It sure is something how much everyone accepts Noah, huh? Since the meteors showed up and started wreaking havoc, we lost most of the entertainment and art from the old days, but Noah reminded everyone how wonderful music is. I have a feeling a lot of people will pick up singing after seeing her do it. I know how impressive what she's doing is. Hard to accept emotionally? Hmm. Uh, mm. Sorry. It's only natural you'd see Coco in Noah when she sings. Brought back some painful memories, huh? No, it's... it's fine. I feel, a uh, psychological resistance to seeing her sing. She's just... too much like her. But... from the start... I don't really understand Noah. You don't? What do you mean? What about her? There's so much that's unclear. Why she was born. Why she's so much like Coco. Mm, that's true. Why? Isn't it common knowledge why she looks so much like Coco? Coco's parents asked Professor Julie to develop Noah, remember? Uh -huh. They couldn't accept losing their child. Oh, okay. And wanted an ark just like their daughter. Both her parents were council members. So they had a lot of resources to pour into the project. That's why Noah's so advanced. That explanation sounds reasonable enough on the surface. Still, if Noah really is an arc based on Coco, then why why does the Sunroom reject her? She's the only one that can't go inside. Well, not that I'm complaining. It's not because you set up some security barriers or something? I don't have that kind of skill. Oh, okay. So there is someone. Was it Dita or something? When we first met, the sunrooms where Noah appeared. Oh. That's the only time she was allowed in. For some reason, she could never go back inside. It's as if Coco is rejecting her. You know, now that you bring it up, Noah probably has a lot of mysteries to her. Like, she was just on the Machia control support team one day. You're right. That's strange, too. Wait, so is Noah a bug? A, 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 a what? Just what is Noah for? Oh. How many times do I have to say it? I'm here to embrace the now of the people. Noah? Hmm? Oh, Noah! What are you doing here? Shh! Keep quiet! What if the fans saw me? Anyway, Chloe... You were talking about my purpose, right? Okay, so she had us. <laughs> well, it's simple. See all these humans coming to see me sing? I love them all so much. So, I'll protect them. I'll exterminate the meteors that threaten their now. That's why I put these advanced abilities to use. To help you run your Machia. Mm -hmm. I also use this voice to sing as a diva to remove the stress that threatens their now. The textures everywhere hide it, but this world is cramped and tiny with little entertainment. That's only going to build stress. This is why I sing. The electric doll Arc Noah turns people's tears into smiles through song. That was not an explanation to the questions before. My presence here saves people. Isn't that everything? You're not saving anyone. You're just distracting them from their pain. That's not oh. why Coco sang. Oh, damn. Okay, Chloe, calm down. No. I'm not going to listen to you perform. Oh, shit. Uh, Turn off events. Going? Come on, listen to my show. Hey, Chloe, wait up. So, if then Noah's shows are just a distraction, then we have to focus on something else? Sorry, Noah. I'll listen to the next one. Hey, both of you. Oh, wait. Huh. Sorry, Chloe. Oh, that's new. We just wanted to cheer you up. And we wanted you to get along with Noah a bit more. We probably should have minded our own business. <laughs> Sorry. It's not your fault. Hey, since we're in the central area, how about we do some shopping for a change of pace? <laughs> Anywhere you two want to go? Burgers? Yeah, let's go to burgers. <laughs> Oh shit, okay. Well then, no. 
drinks made with artificial fruit flavoring and coloring. <laughs> Are there any places you want to go, Alba? How about we go to the music shop? I've been wanting to see a real electric piano. Ooh. Always into that retro stuff. You know, you can just synthesize music, right? Most hobbies are retro and inefficient, Chloe. There's value in choosing to be inefficient. And just quickly checking on Rodney and yeah, we just split the decisions left and right. This is blue for some reason, but this is just the Noah's show. I wonder what's gonna be the next split. If it's gonna be something different. And besides, it's thanks to this hobby that we were able to get closer to you and Coco. <sighs> really? Oh. Sorry. That must have brought... I... I know they're tough memories for you. It's alright. Coco. Why did you have to? Whoa! Julie? Hello, Alba! Chloe too! Oh, and Yamato, I guess. A meteora? Yep. We got a big old meteora on our hands. Okay. This is the same one that we fought. Let's see what's now. I guess I'm gonna analyze it. I think if I can. Okay. Mirror generator. And uh, analyze. What's the matter, Chloe? You don't intend to let it go, do you? I mean, I don't know. I can't even. It's blocked again. Because we analyzed. It's the same. The meteora shows no signs of moving. Oh. Shit. New reaction coming from Meteora. Taking unexpected action. What is this? What in the world is that? Oh. Surface is slightly vibrating. Again. Not shooting. Yeah, I can't. Still. Still fucked. <laughs> <laughs> Wormhole detected. Meteora status unknown. This is gonna escape this time. If the meteora stays here, we have no way of stopping it. Meteora coordinates unchanged. Uh-uh. Wait. New reaction. Oh god. That light. Is it going to transform again? Shit. What? You're saying? Huh. Kill her? What did you just... What? Weren't you based on Coco? I have much respect for my original, but she is of the past. She is already dead. Think. People who are alive right now, and a colossal fabrication of the dead. You are not saying that before. If we have to destroy one, is there any reason not to choose the latter? You. You. Just listen to you. That's why you're... Answer me this. Was your friend one who would cling to life, even after becoming a horrific monster? Huh? Uh... Chloe... She was holding the gun. Do I pull the trigger? Charge complete. Shoot her if you would. Uh, I. Oh my God! Wait. Uh, uh, I don't care if it's a fake. Ah shit! It's the same. I can't just. Wait. What the hell? Free cuckoos. Or artificial, what's important is if there are feelings in it or not. I want to hear you read the story, Chloe. Machine Red stories are just so drab and dull. This is my favorite constellation, Libra. 
the scales that ascended to the heavens. What was that? Did something fall? Doesn't look like it's here. It was from the room over there. Huh? It's constellation. This was my picture. But why was she holding on to? It seems like this is a this Libra constellation. Wait. No. Coco loved this star. It was I can't remember. Wait. Mm hmm I know. There was a constellation map around here. Here we go. Coco loved this star the most. Ah, and Ariadne is a constellation as well. Are you this liking that constellation book? Which constellation are you looking at? I have it open to the Scorpio constellation. Ah, the scorpion who chased after Orion. The scorpion was commanded by a goddess to sting him to death. And when he did, he was elevated to the heavens as a reward. Even as a constellation, he still chases Orion through the night sky. Hmm. It's a very passionate constellation. The scorpion might be surprisingly fond of Orion. I bet he enjoys the chase. Is that what you would call a myth? All of the stars have stories to them. And they're all really interesting. Long ago, you know, if you looked up in the sky, the stars would be there. They're always in the sky, teasing the imagination. That's why people gave these stars stories. After all, if something's always watching over you, it might as well be a wonderful story. Do you like stars, Miss Coco? Yes, quite a bit. About as much as flowers. Even though you've never seen one? Oh, you never know. The two of us might just have seen a star. Is that a metaphor for something? Who can say? This is my favorite constellation. Libra. The scales that ascended to the heavens. The goddess of justice used those scales to measure humanity's good and evil. The scales compare even things that are incomparable. Want to know something? Whenever I'm deciding on something, I think of the Libra constellation. Ego or purpose. Love or dreams. Flowers or stars. Choices are always present in life. And I always pray to Libra to make sure that when the most important decisions come... Oh, <laughs> now I got it because we have this Libra assistant for uh, decisions, okay? That I don't make the wrong decision. If I don't make mistakes, then someday I'll be able to see stars again. That's what I believe. Damn. Chloe, huh? please fight with me. Wait, what? Coco, what? What should I do? I still don't understand what you were saying. So I'm assuming this is the true ending because this star seems like the brightest of all we had in Ariadne. Huh? Hello, Chloe. Our long-awaited picnic time has finally arrived. Come over right now. Hurry, hurry. Wait, picnic time? But 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 she wanted us dead. Hmm. What? Huh. Oh, now Judy is with us. Oh, you really get the full force when you see it with the naked eye. You can see the scale. Did you, Professor? Please report in once you are able to learn anything about the humanoid meteora. Yeah! Let's share our info all buddy-buddy. You know what I want in exchange, right? Yes. The Council will never know that you have been going up to the surface. Huh. The Council is full of idiots. 
How dare those novices order me to be on standby? How am I supposed to stay away when there's such a huge prize right in front of me? Please exercise adequate caution, Professor. Losing a mind like yours would be a great loss to humanity. <laughs> Dita, we, we know you're an imposter, so... You don't need to worry about that. You think Professor Julie would make a mistake like that? I recovered your head the last time you went to the surface and lost your limbs. Oh. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, uh, right. I remember something like that happening. However, my body isn't the same as before. This is the best body that's ever been. Sure. I am going to go beyond this body. And the key to doing that is that humanoid meteora. I guess we should hurry to start our study, but before we do... Yeah? You two rebels seem to be in a cooperative mood today. Remember, you broke military protocol. Hard. Don't forget how close your execution is, okay? <laughs> You're one to talk. You're breaking your standby orders. <laughs> what now? Is that going to be your attitude? Uh, I only did what I had to. <laughs> Listen carefully, Noah. There is no next time. Investigate that thing like your life depends on it. Ugh. The humanoid meteora is completely inactive. We can surmise it poses no immediate threat. I'll be willing to help your study as long as we don't put the city in danger. The information we can glean from it could help us in future battles with meteora. I know it's a rare specimen, but that's still a meteora. We kill it after we're finished, yes? Well, after studying it alive, we're going to kill it and take it apart, of course. Julie? Okay, time to study everything we can about it then. Oh, wow, okay. Let's collect some information then. I'll help. Uh, yes. Let me see the video you took from the sky. Okay, leave it to me, Chloe. I've already filmed and recreated every inch of it. So now we can study it. Okay. Looks like it was heavily damaged in the fight a few days ago. We didn't hit it though. <laughs> I guess that's why we can study it. Even the shapes of her nails are similar. It's warm when your hand touches my hand. This is the value of reality. No sound is made from the special unit's mouth, but there is airflow around the cavity. It is likely breathing. Could you say it's alive? Who knows? Coco was blind. Let's see about this thing. Does it have a heart? Is the chest pulsing? <laughs> You're literally looking at her tits, so... My chest pulses just like yours, Chloe. I've emitted various pulses from the drones, but I can't analyze its interior composition. I can't determine whether it has Wait, a heart or any organs. a black material that we're spinning inside? But judging by the faint movement of her shoulders, she has something similar to a heart. It's so similar, no matter what you look at. Yes, it bears a striking resemblance to Coco. However, just because it looks like Coco doesn't mean it's the same on the inside. This is a roundabout, but we have to consider all the possibilities here. If it turns out its mind remains a meteora, then why make it resemble Coco at all? How would I know? <sighs> I don't would know. you like to hear my opinion, Chloe? Yeah, of course. Yes, tell me. I suspect its very existence is a psychological attack from the meteoras. Ah. Uh -huh. A psychological attack? That's... okay. That's right. I mean, as it stands, you were so confused by its appearance that you couldn't destroy it. That is I mean, true. The meteoras continued to lose to us, coming back again and again with new schemes. So then the like bad ending was a psychological attack on Chloe because she could not do anything. Yeah, I would and agree. By exploiting a pilot's mind or memories? Ugh, no. Never mind that for now. Hey, you're right. Pointing out more possibilities at this time would only confuse you further. It seems that I've lost some composure myself. 
Let me try to collect my thoughts. We have to remain unemotional to focus on examining the specimen. Analysis comes later. Huh? What was that? Did you... Noah, did you hear something? Mmm, no? Never mind. Probably my phony being faulty. <laughs> anyway, okay. We'll try to get a little closer to it. It doesn't seem real enough from afar. Don't get too close. If it starts moving, it'll crush you. Damn. Mm -hmm. Oh shit. <laughs> Where are the flowers anyways? There was like a bed of dahlias. Mm -hmm. The clearer the meteor's Something's appearance up. becomes, the more my memories throb. I wish I never met you. <laughs> what is this then? What's yes. wrong, Chloe? Why did you stop all of a sudden? Your face is all pale. No, it's nothing. Hmm? What are those? Yeah, what are those shells? Stone fragments. Huh? But that's strange. It's like they're emitting light. Leave it to me, Chloe. I can check the logs to search for anything sim- oh. Chloe, this is a bigger discovery than you think. What do you mean? I can't even imagine what kind of reaction Julie will have if she finds these. <laughs> Julie! <laughs> what are those? Speak of the devil. Here comes the noisy one. How dare you share those fun toys without me? Get out of the way! <laughs> hmm. Well, well. I know. There's no mistake. These are fragments from when the humanoid Meteora was still in a spherical state. Ah, okay. This is a groundbreaking discovery. That's fun. The fragments don't disappear even after being separated from the body. Ah, okay. So that's different as well. Huh? Hmm? Oh, they're disappearing a bit. Well, at this speed, they can still be stored. Oh, I see. It set its roots down here. Is it because it ate a human? I wonder... <gasps> Maybe the reason it can't move is because it can't overcome the gravity exerted on its frame. Idiot! Why abandon the meteor's advantage of gravity immunity by making itself humanoid? Although, that's just a theory. If that's the case, it's reasonable to think it's also lost other perks. If it doesn't have its greatest time entanglement perk... Dieter? Professor? Dieter! You've interrupted me when I'm in my groove once again! I have a report. Uh-uh. The Council took a vote and decided on how the humanoid Meteora will be handled. Immediately exterminate the humanoid Meteora. That's the order we've been given. Huh? A lot of Council members are cautious. We could have seen this coming. <gasps> We're going to destroy that? If you do not follow this, Professor, they said they would seize the designed human Chloe and Ares Machia. Oh, damn. <gasps> oh, all idiots think the same. Cowards who only consider immediate safety. Besides, I'm the one who created Chloe and the Machia. Those idiots! Do you enjoy tarnishing my mind, Dieter? If you do, you're equally guilty. Listen, if your tiny little brain can understand even a fraction of what that Meteora is worth, You'd better shut that council up and... It's been done. Shit. The tireless efforts of two council members strongly against destroying the humanoid Meteora have succeeded in changing the minds of the council members seeking its destruction. Really? Two council members? Huh. It seems like there are some understanding people. Right. On that council full of idiots in their comfy chairs. Yes, I will not allow anyone to interfere with your work. Oh, even okay. if they hold the highest <laughs> Thank God. I mean, no, it's Dita who is just like, he is the imposter, so... Professor, please continue to your heart's content. Okay, okay, nice, nice, nice. <laughs> You're pretty useful yourself. Hmm, it's strange, though. You're usually such a pain, but you're awfully friendly <laughs> this time, Dieter. Do you really just want to know about the humanoid Meteora? What else are you after? 
That is a foolish question, Professor. Um, I wouldn't say so. I have but one objective. Bring humanity true freedom. Bullshit. Don't you think it's time for mankind to finally leave the nest? The puzzle is nearly complete. We just need to put in the last piece. Now, huh. we should be grateful for the Great Dieter's efforts and continue our research. Noah, stop messing around with Chloe and get the Argos ready to carry all these fragments. <laughs> I'm going to form an Archie Union on you. <laughs> <laughs> huh, okay.